I'm going to be um, talking about a couple of things that relate to communications, really. So communications with your um, with your patrons. Um, and the first thing that I was going to talk about was the patron emailer. So in um, actually in 1905, version 1905, this came in. Um, it's related to a particular bug report. It's bug 16149, if you're interested in it. Um, and essentially, it's, it's related to being able to generate um, email notices which are based on a report output. Uh, so uh, it, it touches on reporting, it touches on creating your own notices within the tools area. Um, but essentially the upshot is, is that um, with, this, uh, with this functionality available to you, you can send customized emails to your users um, as a batch so outside of the common tools that you know send emails to users such as overdues and hold pickup notices and that sort of thing um, this gives you um, more control over that and it lets you um, tailor reports to um, what you need however there is an overlap with a requirement to push something through the support desk because in conjunction with setting up this structure you also need to have a cron job enabled that essentially takes the report that you're working with and the notice text that you're working with and ties that into a cron job that can run at intervals. So this is the COA patron community emailer. So I thought I'd just demonstrate it. I mean, one, one of the ways you potentially might use this is for a customized levers type notice. So for example, um, there is a system preference um, membership expiry days notice, but it doesn't, which it generates a, a, a notice when patrons come up for expiry, but it doesn't allow selection by patron category, for example. So it's quite restricted in what it can do. So an example of how you might use the patron emailer um, could be to create a, a report and a notice that emails out direct with some of your own constraints. So the first step would be to go into the reports and create a report that generates the list of users that you want to um, focus on. So um, I've just got a report here that I've cre uh, created called Leavers Email. And let's just have a little look at it. Um, and if I just show the SQL here, uh, we are selecting specific fields, card number, email, first name, surname, the category code and the date expiry from the borrowers table. But I've included a, uh, a, a, an a, a filter. So essentially where the category code is in Two, it relates to two particular category codes. So I've just got a couple there, PT and ST. Um, it's looking for users where the date exp of expiry is before now, but of course, this is a SQL report, so you can be more um, uh, creative if you've got any other constraints. And for this report, I'm excluding a set of email addresses. Um, let's just run the report and just run it and have a look at it and see what it gives us. So it gives me a list of 13 users and these are the users who would be selected when the email notice that we're um, working towards would be sent to. Um, but the important thing about when you're creating a report for this patron emailer is that the fields that are included in this report must be reflect and re relate to the fields that you include in your notice text. So the second step, we've got a report. We're happy with that. I've, I've also, I know the report number. It's report number five, five, 542. So that's another thing to bear in mind. Then the next thing is to create our levers notice. So in tools and notices and slips, you've obviously got all the delivered ones that come by default with COA, pre-dues, overdues, um, hold pickups and all that sort of thing. Um, but I've created one here called levers. So I've created using the new notice option, a notice called levers, and if I go over here and edit it, we'll have a look and look at the levers notice. Uh, and in the email section, I've just included 
some brief text, but the first thing that you will see and bear in mind is that the way that the fields, the dynamic fields that are generated on a user by user basis are constructed in a slightly different way. So we've got this first name and surname, it's fairly self-explanatory, but instead of being in those double um, triangular brackets that you may be used to seeing, they're not. They're in uh, a bar um, square bracket with a percentage and delimited by a tail a percentage and square bracket. So each of those fields has to be in that syntax and that syntax structure is called template toolkit. Um, there's, there's a lot that you can do with template toolkit. Uh, you can do crazy things like variables and include if else statements, things like that. This isn't a session on template toolkit. I'm not an expert, but you have to have notice text that uses these template toolkit uh, structures in order to work with the patron emailer. Um, so um, we've got our leavers notice, it's called leavers. We've got our notice number, the report ID, it's 542. So the next step would essentially be to contact the help desk to set up a report in the cron for the patron emailer um, for whatever frequency you want. And just from our side of things this is the sort of thing if i just sort of expand this notice if you can see that um, on notepad this is the sort of thing that we'd be entering into the cron tab so we're using the patron emailer dot pl we reference the report number so that's the report that we're using we're referencing the notice text which is called levers we also have to say what module that notice text comes in. So actually, that's another thing that needs to be conveyed to the support team when creating one of these, when asking for one of these to be set up. The hyphen hyphen commit means that emails will be set. So actually, you can run these in a test mode. So it's quite nice, really, if you exclude the hyphen hyphen commit as part of setting it up, it will send it in a, in a verbose form and you can just like check what it would have sent. Um, and then you can also say a from address, a from email address, uh, and that can be customized within the cron tab there. Or alternatively, in our report output, as long as our report output includes the from address for a particular email account, it would use that email account instead. So um, either it can be embedded in the um, report um, itself, so you could make sure that it gets extracted as part of the selects there, and as long as it's called from, it would be used as the from address. Alternatively, it can be embedded in the cron tab itself. Um, so with that detail in hand, we simply set it to run on whatever basis. So in this case, for example, this is going to run 14 minutes past the hour um, every hour. So it's a regular notice that would run. If it was a leavers notice, you might just say to schedule it for June when you're when there's leavers ready to leave the institution or whatever. Um, so it's it's um, very good for regular reports that you might tend to send. But as you see, there's, we're touching on using template toolkit syntax to set up your um, your notices. Um, so that's the community emailer. And if you want to read more, you can look at the bug because it gives some more information about how it was created. It's fixed. It's in 1905. So any sites who've migrated to 1911 and so on will have this as standard and can start thinking about how you might want to generate custom notices. Um, but I thought I'd also... Um, well, actually, any any questions so far on that? That's the community delivered um, notifications. Um, but before I move on, just to the something else that relates to communications, um, any any queries about that one? Nothing. Nothing There's so nothing far. Nothing on chat. Okay. 
Okay, well, it, 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 this is recorded, isn't it? So, okay. okay, so that's that one. Um, but also I thought what I'd also touch on is something that has similarities, but differences. Um, it's called a patron emailer plugin. And this is actually a plugin that has been written by Bywater, um, the company called Bywater. They're in America, they um, have similarities to PTFS Europe. Um, so this plugin, this Bywater, has, has written so we don't support it as such we can't make any changes to it so what it does it does off the shelf um, we've got several customers who've used it successfully um, uh, but because we didn't write it we can't offer any extensions to what it does but I thought I'd just demonstrate how it does work because it addresses a different sort of um, use case really um, it, it's more to do with sending email notifications on the fly I suppose um, but um, there are one or two little crossovers um, similarly to the COA community patron emailer, you need a notice text. Um, so again, in tools, you would create your notice text for a notice that you want to send out on the fly. And, the, and in fact, the leavers notice it could easily fit into this type of category as well. So we need to create a notice text in this area and in addition that notice text also has to be written in template toolkit syntax so um i've lost my notice let me find it levers here we are yeah um so it also has like the community patron emailer it has to be written with these little chevrons um so uh, what, what you'll find is that um, just an extension on template toolkit, um, when you're using these tools on the right on the left hand side, um, as you can see, so if I wanted to put in something from the um, borrowers, uh, the, the borrowers table, like the borrowers email here, if I put that in there and use the insert, you see it puts it in the little Diag triangular brackets there um, and with template toolkit we need to replace those with a square bracket and then a percentage and then a square bracket uh, and then a percentage and a square bracket to close it off so it, it's modifiable using these tools but um, it does need to be changed otherwise the notice will fail so it's just a provisor uh, just a little caveat there for how to to bear in mind um, so we create our notice text and now in different as a, as a difference instead of going into the reporting module what we have um, is a tool that allows us to choose I'm just going to open a new tab um, the the plugin once it's installed so there are some things that need to be put in place you need to have the plugin mechanism set up on your system and that does require some additional support um, uh, but uh, if you've got plugins set up generally this plugin email can be installed and there's an actions menu on the right hand side that lets us run the tool so when I click on the run the tool I can choose what patrons I want to email to, to whom I want to send the email uh, so I can either upload a file of patrons alternatively I can reference a report ID so bearing in mind I've got a report that lists my levers I could put in my report number 542 um, and it would reference any borrowers that are extracted by running that report uh, and then the next step is to select a notice so this is where I choose my notice text so I've got the choice here to select um, notices whether that's um, they're tied to a specific library I might need to narrow it down that way alternatively I just choose all libraries and then the module that I'm using so my levers notice is in the circulation module so I choose that and then I choose the notice and um, somewhere in there should be my levers notice and then running that should generate my email notifications for me. So there's some other subtleties to the patron emailer and again it's well documented on the Bywater 
site. Um, so it's um, it it's it, but it addresses a different sort of use case. As I say, it's more sort of sending a set of notices on the fly, and it does require certain elements to be in place. You need to have your COA site set up to use plugins, and that requires a little bit of server side configuration. Um, and also, you need to create the um, notice in using that template toolkit syntax um, and the notice again also like with the patron community patron emailer it the notice if you're using a report id it needs to have the same fields uh, that would be used by the notice text so whatever's in the report id has to correspond with whatever is in the notice text um, so it, it's sort of two different approaches, both require template toolkit. Um, the patron emailer comes with COA and just can be generated um, on a regular basis, um, whereas the plugin is dependent, really, it's produced by Bywater, so there are some constraints there. We can't support it in any great detail. Um, obviously, we can offer you a little bit of advice, but... Um, we can't change the way it behaves once it's installed it is what it is um, but hopefully it sort of gives you an idea of a couple of different ways to approach um, sending uh, different types of email that might not originally be in the original core set of notices that you might be familiar with in Koha and um, so uh, I thought that might just give you a, a, a bit of a, a, a bit of a, a sort of insight into some of the other things that you might be able to do with Koha notifications. Mm -hmm.